Jubilant Stories, unearthing the power of together. Mary is somebody labelled as intellectually disabled. She's lived much of her life uh, in between institutions and time at home. She spends a lot of her day in workshop placement. Her great passion is music. Uh, it's a passion of her heart and it's also a gift that she generously gives to other people. In the last number of years she's had the opportunity to share her gift, the gift of music, the gift of singing and also her knowledge of music with other people, not just in the institution uh, where she works but also in her local community. She's gotten involved with her local choir and through serendipity uh, one of the members of the choir knows somebody who is also passionate about music and runs a music store. Mary's great dream in life was to have the opportunity to work in a record store, as she refers to it, or a music store. And that dream has come true recently because the person in the choir who knows the proprietor of the music store introduced Mary and John together. And John and Mary now have a connection with each other, and that connection has translated into Mary working every second weekend in the music store. It's a great example of an institution represented by the triangles actually coming together with an ordinary person, the institution being the business that John owns and uh, Mary. And Mary's dreams have come true because John recognizes Mary not for her label as intellectually disabled, but as somebody who can give him something he needs. And that's a knowledge and a passion about music. So she interacts now with people who come into the store and uh, buy music. But don't just buy music, also exchange with Mary their passion, which of course Mary shares. That's the great passion uh, for music. So there's a reciprocity, and it's that reciprocity that makes her life more jubilant and inspirational.